Hi everyone, my name is Jordan Davidson and I'm a young person in long-term addiction recovery with over three and a half years of sobriety. I lived in Connecticut for the first 18 years of my life, um, but I now live in Washington DC where I'm a rising senior in college. I first started using marijuana and nicotine uh, when I was 15 years old early in high school. I didn't plan on using those drugs, but the friends around me started using them and I thought it would be uncool of me if I didn't use with them. Um, one of the first times that I did start smoking marijuana, all of my friends around me had been smoking it for a long time and I wanted to be cool and keep up with them and I used so much of it that I almost actually went to the hospital. I, I passed out on my friend's porch and that was kind of my introduction to using uh, marijuana products. As time went on, I started grappling with issues like anxiety, um, high stress levels from school, from things going on at home, things going on with friends. And I started to use marijuana as a way to self-medicate, to make myself feel better. I felt less anxious, I felt less stressed. Um, but what I didn't realize at the time was that it wasn't really fixing my problems. It wasn't really making me feel better. It was only a band-aid, um, kind of masking the problems that I was struggling with. And that never works out for anyone, and it didn't work out for me. Eventually, my marijuana smoking got to a point where I was smoking three times a day. I was using um, what people call carts or marijuana vapes with um, really high potency um, oils. And I, I was using them morning, noon, and night. Um, I had to use them before I went to class. When I got out of bed, I had to use them to go to sleep. And it got to a point where I was losing friends, where I started to see my grades decline, um, where I was not investing in any of my relationships. I was lying to my parents and I was doing anything to basically get any kind of marijuana products on my hand to, to fuel my addiction. Eventually, I got to a point where I, 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 I realized that all the relationships and, and the good things in my life that I had begun to build around me had started to fall apart because of my marijuana addiction. And I, with the help of friends and with the support of family, um, decided to, to stop. And in December of, of 2018, in my senior year of high school, I took some time off of school. I, I, I got admitted to an outpatient rehab facility and I started going to Narcotics Anonymous uh, meetings, the 12 step program. And I have been clean and sober from, from all substances um, ever since. And it was a turning point in my life. Um, and it showed me that it was possible to, to stop using and to get help. But what I didn't know at the time when I was smoking or even when I first got into recovery um, was how addictive marijuana really was and the facts about what it can do um, if, you, if you start smoking it, especially at a young age. So a lot of people have this idea that marijuana isn't addictive, um, but the, all the scientific evidence and the literature shows us that indeed it is. And in young people, the addiction rate can be as high as one in three people who start using marijuana will develop an addiction to it. And especially with a lot of the products that are, you know, that are being exposed to people in high school that are being exposed to, to our youngest um, are really high potency. So THC, the active ingredient in marijuana that gets you high, that psychoactive component to it. Um, they used to be in the, in the 70s, two to 3% um, potency of THC in the average marijuana products. And now the things that people like me were using, young people in high school, are upwards of 99%. And those were kind of facts that I didn't know. I didn't know that marijuana use can actually fuel anxiety that it can actually fuel depression, um, that you disengage kind of from your community and that it can become a real problem. I'd heard from people, oh no, you're making it up. There's no issue. It's not addictive. Um, you know, no one's ever had a problem with marijuana. It's totally harmless. 
And that just isn't the case, especially in today's age where we're seeing these really dangerous products um, being marketed and sold to our young people. And so if I had, you know, a couple of messages that I, I just would want you to take home from my story today and the information that I've relayed to you is that number one, with compassion and support and love from your community, someone who is struggling from addiction um, to marijuana can get help and you can recover and you can stay sober. But number two, that you don't need to start. Um, it's, it's totally cool to not do those, to not smoke, to not um, have edibles, to not do all these marijuana products that are out there or, or any other drugs. Um, and I've, I, like I said, I have um, over three and a half years of, of sobriety um, and, and I feel like I'm living my best life now and I wish that I had never started. Um, so it's something that you don't need to start and that is indeed addictive. And I hope that you can take that message forward. And as, as you're starting high school now, and, and as the parents who are watching this are kind of watching for their young kids and, and seeing what, what, you know, what kind of things are being offered to people in high school, um, that you can be aware that these, these products do exist and that they're not something that you need to partake in um, to have a fun time in, in your high school careers. So thank you so much for listening and I, I wish you all the best of luck and, and to have the most fun um, in, in high school that you can in, in a healthy and safe way.